favorites for the biggest loser? Uh, because you you were the wellness expert, celebrity trainer, and you're the founder of your own fitness company. You know, some of the secrets on that show was helping them go from being uh, on the ranch with an extreme environment and then going and living in moderation with their everyday life. And really the secret for me was telling them and teaching them, listen, the dumbbell and the diet don't get you in shape. It's your accountability to your word and your belief in yourself. You keep those two things up, I promise you'll stay with it and you'll be able to maintain. So, how, how do you keep your word to yourself? Well, you got to walk your talk. It starts <laughs> by doing things, you know, that you can accomplish. The little small goals, setting small attainable goals and celebrating the little things. That's going to keep you going. Just walk your talk. Well, I, I like that. Uh, is that what they used on The Biggest Loser? Because let me tell you, I, try, I had to lose 10 pounds. Oh, you know, people say, oh, that's just so easy. You know, Brett, it took me over four years to walk up 10 pounds, but I had to eat right. I had to walk, you know, daily, morning and evening. It was a slow progression, and I had to keep my word to myself that no matter what the weather, no matter what's going on, I'm going to walk. That's it. I mean, when you know, I take, a, I take this type of approach. Number one, it's the accountability and the motivation. Two, nutrition. Three is the training, and four is the recovery. So when it comes to nutrition, here's something that I think people should consider are simple swaps. Now, I'm sure you did this. Simple swaps are something that you can swap in real simply, integrate it into your everyday life, but it's going to have a big impact on your entire health. Now, I was an overweight teenager. And 50 pounds overweight, I was called the fat kid that didn't know he was fat. It's a big part of why I ended up in this career. And it's a big part of why I work with children on their diet and, and childhood obesity. Kids like sugar. I love sugar. I still do. Trying to reduce sugar in kids' diet is a big priority. Here's an example of a great simple swap for kids. And I know parents will appreciate this. So kids love sugar. They love juice, right? They, they are drinking a lot of juice, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it's got a lot of sugar in it. Simple swap, Juicy Juice Fruitifuls, it's got 35% less sugar, still tastes great and has a full serving of fruit. And for the parents who've got to lead by example, take out the soda and I'll swap in like ice herbal tea and put a little splash of seltzer. That was a big hit on Biggest Loser with the contestants. And now you've got a great alternative. You've given us some great ideas. Do you have a place on the web where my audience can go in? And, and, and be motivated and, and, and get some more bread habits? <laughs> yes, they can go to tipsontv.com. Brett, thank you so much for inspiring my audience. Uh, it's going to be a fabulous 2013. I know people are going to keep those goals, make new goals, and have an abundant life. I want to thank you, and we're going to keep watching you on The Biggest Loser. You're coming up on a new season, aren't you? It's actually going to be a, a change. Of, you know who's coming back is going to be the queen. Miss Jillian Michaels is going to make a return. Yes. I gotta talk. She's on my schedule. I got to talk to her because, you know, she got that fabulous body, too. Yes, she does. Well, I, I really appreciate you having me out, Valder. Have a great New Year. The same to you. Take care.